friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. And this right here is the Eart T380, or as I like to call it, the Tele of the future. So you'll see why I think that when we get into the specs. But guys, just to start off with, this guitar right here has finally made me fall in love with the Tele body style. I've checked out a lot of Tele style guitars over the years, and many of them have been beautifully made instruments, you know, excellent fit and finish and so forth, but none of them have really connected with me the way this one has. And fortunately, this is not even an expensive guitar. Most classic Tele's to me have always seemed so stuck in the past. And a lot of new companies, a lot of modern companies, you know, they're making cool versions of classic Tele's, but I've always felt that they they didn't modernize it enough. You know, they didn't upgrade it enough. They didn't use the decades of new guitar design, you know, that they could put into the classic foundation and come up with just this amazing instrument until now. So let me run through the specs on this and you guys will see what I'm talking about. So first off, let's start with the body here. Roasted mahogany body. Then over here, we've got a very nice bolt-on roasted maple neck with the matching fretboard, which has 22 stainless steel frets. And these are these really nice rounded ball end frets that Eart and a couple of the other uh, really you know, modern guitar companies have been doing lately. Now, I always pay really close attention to the frets when I get a new guitar. And these frets are, they're not the biggest frets. I mean, these are sort of medium frets, but they're finished so beautifully. Here's a nice close-up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And the other thing with this is, aside from the fret work, the setup on this guitar was great out of the box. When I get into the demo, you know, you can see how it plays. And I will tell you now, I have done absolutely nothing to this guitar except tune it. I didn't even replace the strings or anything like that. I have made zero adjustments to it. Okay, but we need to talk a little bit more about this neck because this has a compound fretboard radius, goes 9.5 down here to 14, very flat up here. And you know, companies like you know Jackson have been doing that for a long time. Companies that really specialize in easy to play and shredder type guitars. Uh, but to have that on a telly is really cool. So compound radius fretboard and it has a compound neck profile. So down here by the headstock, you've got kind of a round C-shaped neck and then it flattens out and gets kind of a steeper shoulder. So it's more of like a, like a flat D shape up here by the neck joint. And you can really tell quite a difference. Now let's look down here uh, at the electronics. So first of all, humbuckers, two humbuckers on a telly. Are they out of their mind? Maybe, but I absolutely love this pickup configuration. Now, you're thinking, oh, well, you know, humbucker's great, uh, nice, big, thick, beefy sound, but what if you want some classic telly tones? Well, you see this little tiny switch right here? Well, you can split the coils on these pickups and get some great single coil tones, and you'll hear that when we get into the demo. Aside from that, it's got a three-way toggle switch or a blade switch, and then a single volume and a single tone. And look at this, a trim on a telly, not just a trim, but they've got the six individual saddles. These are solid saddles. And by the way, this has the nice push in arm. And uh, you know, we'll see how it stays in tune and everything during the demo, but already we're heading in super strat direction, but you know, it's not a strat. So what, super telly, is that a thing? Okay, so awesome specs on this guitar. And guys, I've checked out, of course, guitars from Eart before. And you guys know that these guitars are pretty affordable. 399, 400 clams for this guitar right here. And guys, here's the thing. This is the kind of guitar that should really be a slap in the face of the old established guitar companies. The kind of value that you get out of new companies like Eart and, and some of the other new ones, and then also like some of the stuff that Harley Benton is putting out. This kind of value is so far beyond what you would get from like Squire or Epiphone or you know some of those older companies. There are plenty of brand new guitars that cost thousands that don't have some of these specs. Okay, but let's get into the demo because it's all for nothing if it doesn't sound good. So we'll plug this in. I'm gonna use my trusty Fender GTX 100 amplifier. We'll do some playing and some listening 
and we'll hear how this sounds. But real quick, guys, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool new guitars, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, plug this in. And I mean, I can't resist doing a little shredding on this. So let's start with that. So guys, a couple of things that jump out to me when I play this guitar is the playability because these frets are so nice and the neck is so comfortable, but also the tone. I mean, listen to that mid-range chunk. That is like a meaty tone right there. Now, I still think you can get some of the twangy stuff that tellies are known for, and we'll get into that in a second when we test, uh, test out the quail splitting stuff, but let me just, you know, do a little bit more shredding on this because the, the neck is so comfortable. I mean, it's not a, it's actually not a super thin neck. It's pretty round, right, especially with this compound neck profile, pretty round, especially down here, but um, it's very, very comfortable, and the the edges of the fretboard, they, I don't think they're rolled, but it almost seems like they are. Maybe just some light sanding on the edge there because it doesn't have that sharp edge, right? It's, it's just comfort. Everywhere is comfort on the neck and the, the rounded ends on the frets. Anyway, let me just do a little bit more playing here. Also, the fret access on this is great. I mean, it's got this cutout here on the back of the, the lower horn, but I don't think it actually needs it. I don't think you end up using it all that much. Um, but yeah, you can reach up there, you know, really easily up there to the 22nd fret. Yeah, the tone of the guitar, which is very mid-range focused, uh, very warm, but not too dark sounding, if you know what I mean. It's not too muddy sounding. That combined with the sort of responsiveness and tightness of the neck. I mean, it's, this is really, uh, it's, I don't know, it's, the guitar has sort of an aggressive feel to it, if that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, but now let's play around and see what uh, other tones we can get out of this guitar. I really want to play around with this coil splitting switch here and see if we can get some more, you know, classic twangy Telecaster tones. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> Let's 
let's switch over to the neck pickup here with this coil split. Okay, now let's just do a little bit of clean playing. Also got to check out this trim a little bit here. Yeah, the trim's actually, you know, pretty good. I'm always skeptical if it's not a Floyd Rose, but that's actually, that's actually very good. Okay, guys, so after playing this thing, and, you know, I, I haven't just played it now, but I've, I've had this guitar for a little while, and I've been playing it a lot, even before making this video. Um, I've checked out a lot of guitars from Eert, and I think this one is my favorite. And I'm honestly a little surprised to hear myself say that, because I'm really more of a Strat guy, um, and, you know, the Tele body shape has always been just sort of like, oh, one of those other body shapes that I, that I don't really, you know, doesn't really make my favorites list. But now, after getting the right specs, the right combination of features uh, in a guitar with this body shape, now, I mean, this, this guitar is, is honestly becoming a favorite of mine. Now, there's something else about the body here that I really want to point out, and this might be a little bit difficult to see on the camera. I'll put a close-up of this in here so you can see this. But there's an awesome arm cut, you know, on the top of this body here. So they've got a belly cut on the back. They've got a cut out on the back of the lower horn for your hand. And they've got the arm cut over this corner here. So this guitar is now so comfortable to play and to hold. And, and that's one of the things, right? When you, when you get something new and the sort of the newness of it kind of wears off, right? The big indicator as to how good it is for me is if you continue reaching for it. And this guitar has been like that. I've had it, you know, sitting around with all of my other guitars and even up on the wall for a while. And I, when I, you know, I have a lick like in my mind and I want to just randomly grab a guitar and practice or like, you know, get an idea out this guitar I've, I've started to grab just again and again. And this is the first Tele body style guitar that I've ever had where that has been the case. Okay, so now there's a few other little specs I wanna make sure I mention. First of all, it's got the truss rod adjustment that I love at the neck pocket here. Satin finish all over the neck. Gloss on the body, but satin on the neck. Love it. And I really dig this color, it's sort of a cream um, almost like a, a vintage white, but not quite so yellow. It's kind of an off-white, cream white. But this guitar is available in a, several different colors. I think about half a dozen different colors. They've got a, a nice kind of transparent uh, burst finish that looks really cool. Then they've got like a sort of a salmon pink and a blue, which is kind of the more modern colors, kind of like Charvel is doing these days. And speaking of Charvel, imagine if this guitar had a Floyd Rose trim on it. This would be direct competition to Charvel, and I, I think it would, uh, it would do really favorably, especially if they can keep the price down to the range that this is going for. Again, 400 bucks for this guitar. Ridiculous. Okay, guys, as usual, I want to know what you think about this guitar down in the comments section below. I know there's a lot of people out there who watch my channel who have purchased the Eert guitars. Um, this model, though, is pretty new, so I don't know how many people have, have owned this exact guitar at this point. But if you do, or one of the other Eert guitars, let us know what your ownership experience has been like down in the comments section below. Now, as usual, 
I'll have links for everything I was talking about in the video in the video description. So that'll be a link for the guitar, the amplifier he's using, and the demo. That was the Fender GTX 100, plus my latest instructional video and all my social media stuff. Guys, thanks a ton for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it interesting. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.